How's it going guys? My name is DJP and welcome back to another NBA 2K22, my NBA rebuild. There's a little bit of dust there, just gonna get that off. In today's video, what we're gonna be doing is a video I did last year, gonna be very similar to what I did last year, somewhat. So, the 25 and under rebuild challenge. Now obviously, the title will say under 25, but it's basically going to be 25 and under, so if they're 25, that's totally fine. Uh, obviously, once they, they can't, there's nobody on the team that'd be 26. That's a no-no. So, we're trying to get young. I'm not to worry. I'm trying not to get to 25, but... Um, what we're going to do is a fantasy shot. Or fantasy draft, I should say. And we've got three seasons to build the best team where every player is, you know, 25 and under. So, if they're going to turn, you know, 26, we got to trade them. It's that simple. So... If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure to like on the video and subscribe if you're not subscribed right, and let me know down in the comments video, guys. Check out my social channel description. We've got a playlist down below containing other NBA 2K2 do my NBA content. And check out my channel as well in case you like content from me. Guys, we're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. I want to get to that. I know I usually don't say get to subscribers, but once I get to 1,000, I'll be happy. So, uh, yeah, let's try to get there. If we can, and uh, yeah, with that being said, let's get on the gameplay. Alright, so as you guys know, uh, I think I loaded in a, the default roster, so there are going to be some like pre-existing injuries. We're just going to have to deal with that. Um, I kind of messed that up. It's fine, though. Alright, guys, here we go. Injuries are off. We're going to close our eyes. 3, 2, 1, Fantasy Draft. What team are we using? The Jazz. Awesome. Alright, so we are with the Jazz. Let's see what pick we are going to get. Uh, a very low one. So we need a guy that's going to be young that we could have on the team. Um, Jared Allen. Ooh, Shea Gilders Alexander would be a good option. Ooh, or Darius Garland because he's 21. Uh, do I get Shea or do I get Darius? Uh, Shea, the thing with Shea is we maybe have like a season or two with him. Whereas with Darius Garland, we're going to have like pretty much the entire video. I gotta go with Darius Garland. Oh, it pains me, because I really like Shea. You guys know I love Shea, but we're gonna go with Darius Garland. Unless Shea's still there, then I'll take both. So Shea wasn't there, but um, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna get Cade Cunningham. Um, he's, the reason being, he is uh, 20 years old, 79 overall. He's definitely someone we could build around. He's not gonna be there by the time we get to our next pick. I'm gonna go on a limb and take a risk. We're gonna go with Marvin Bagley, 22 years old, 78 overall. Welcome to the team. All right, so the next player we're going to take is a 23-year-old. We're going to take Mo Bamba, Muhammad Bamba, uh, center position. So he'll be the fourth pick. So my next pick, I'm going to go with uh, Sadiq Bey uh, to be our small forward. Uh, he's 22 years old, 75 overall. So, again, we're going to be banking on some development here. So Sadiq Bey, welcome to the team. Next player I'm going to take is going to be D'Anthony Melton, 23 years old. Going to be a nice little six-man. I don't know if he'll be on the team for the entire time, but we'll at least have him for a couple seasons. I'm going to draft the backup small forward. We're going to go with Hamidou Diallo to be our backup small forward. I'm going to take uh, Jeremiah Robinson Earl to be my backup center. He's 20 years old, 75 overall, so at the very least, we got him under the age of 25 for a very long time. But we only are doing three seasons, so it doesn't really matter. All right, point guard. We're going to go with Malachi Flynn uh, to be our backup point guard. Uh, it's not the best, but then again, uh, town's a bit thin. All right, for the power forward spot, we're going to go with 23-year-old Paul Reed to be our backup power forward. So uh, that is going to be pick number 10. All right, I need another, I'm going to get another point card. We're going to get Peyton Pritchard, uh, 23 years old, uh, 72. Uh, probably not long-term option, but just somebody we can have that could fill out the uh, criteria. All right, so I'm going to get Derek Jones Jr. Uh, we got him on, one, on a one-year deal, so we're just going to take him on. All right, my second last pick, I'm going to pick Justin Patton. He's got a two-year deal. He's 24 years old. He's probably not going to be on the team long-term, So, uh, but we, he fits the criteria. And with my last pick, I'm going to go with Najee Marshall, 23 years old, 71 overall, small forward. All right, guys, so we have our team. Let me just load in our draft class. We're definitely going to need it because our team's not going to be very good. Uh, Phil Lime, thank you. We're going to use your draft class. So let's take a look at the roster, just the final roster. So we got Darius Garland, Mo Bamba, Kate Cunningham, DeAnthony Melton, Marvin Bagley, Sadiq Bey, Hamidou Diallo, Jeremiah Robinson Earl, Derek Jones Jr., Malachi Flynn, Paul Reed, Peyton Pritchard, Justin Patton, Najee Marshall. 
that is going to be the team. Uh, expect this to be pretty bad, so uh, which is fine. I'm not too mad about that. But our starting five is going to be Garland, Cunningham, Bay, Bagley, and Bamba. We've got uh, Melton, Robson Earl, Diallo, Jones Jr., Paul Reed off of the, the bench getting minutes. So, again, we have a nice young team. Uh, which is kind of the goal. So Darius Garland's going to be the number one. We're going to have Katie Cunningham be the number two. And I guess the number three could go to... Let's go Mo Bamba's the number three. Why not? Uh, assistant proficiency. We're going to be running a three and a half perimeter centric. Is that the best that we could do? Uh, it looks like it is. So we're going to stick with that so, uh, with, with the perimeter centric. So... Um, we're probably going to make some moves at the deadline. We'll keep the team the way it is for now. See how they develop. Uh, but we're going to have to add a couple picks and try to get some young guys on this team. We'll see how we can do. Um, I'll see you guys at the uh, trade deadline. Hopefully this team is good. All right, guys. So we're at the trade deadline, and we're sitting at the 13th seed, 23 and 32. So they're not good, which I kind of expect this us to be not that great. But I hope at some point in the future we'll be pretty good. So let's take a look at how the guys are playing. So Garland's playing pretty well, 21 points a game, 6 assists, um, and some pretty good shooting splits too from him. So that's nice to see from Darius Garland. Um, Cade Cunningham is rookie season, about 16, 6, and 4. And, uh, you know, the efficiency is not uh, the greatest, but I imagine he'll uh, improve. So Garland and Cade Cunningham are going to be a nice backcourt uh, going forward. Bomb, Mo Bomb is doing okay. Uh, two blocks a game, nice. Uh, Bagley is not doing too bad. Then we got Melton. He's got five outs, Gavin, double figures. Uh, I'm just kind of looking at the team right now. Um, uh, so far, nothing really going on. I do want to see there's a couple moves that we could potentially make uh, right now. Just some small moves to try to get some picks and some assets. So uh, a lot of these guys really haven't seen the court. So I want to see there's a potential couple moves for the guys down here. Especially these guys that are 24. And this is a tiny deal with the Pacers. So basically, Derek Jones Jr. is uh, going to be an unrestricted free agent. Probably not going to re-sign him. Uh, we're going to get Chimezi Metu, who's 20, also 24, not going to resign him, much less money. But we also get a second round pick, which is not the greatest either, but just a small little trade that we're going to make here, especially since Derek Jones isn't really playing. We're going to deal with Cleveland, so we're going to give up Najee Marshall, Peyton Pritchard, and a second round pick this season for a 2024 first round pick, top three protected from Cleveland, and Isaiah Joe, who's 22 years old. Alright okay, guys, so I am pretty much made all the moves, so this is going to be the rotation for the rest of the season, uh, as you guys can see. So, again, uh, I'm going to expect us to get a nice high pick. I think we have our pick, if I remember correctly. If we don't, I'm going to be really pissed. Do we have our pick? No, we don't, so I'm a little pissed. Um, which means, well, I don't know what that means, but it's not good that we don't have our pick. So, eh, we'll probably have to try to trade for our, uh, our good pick then, since we may not have it. Uh, but if it is protections on next year's pick... Then I assume we might end up getting our pick and it won't convey until next season. So maybe it won't be the end of the world. But either way, I will see you guys at the end of the year where we're not going to make playoffs. Alright guys, so we ended the season as the 11th seed. Uh, I did have to pick up Stanley Johnson. He was 25 years old to fill out the roster since we didn't have enough people. Uh, but Jokic wins MVP, Mobley, Rookie of the Year, 6 man of the Year, Malker Fultz, Spencer Giannis, Giannis, Most Proved, John Morant. Coach leader Nate McMillan, executive leader Christian Bartlett. So we ended up being the 11 seed. We didn't make the playoffs though, which is fine. Uh, are we gonna have any Utah Jazz here? Doesn't look like we will. Um, on, on this team, we will obviously, because we've got Cade Cunningham averaging 15.9 points, 5.6 around four assists, and uh, was pretty decent, pretty better efficiency in the second half this season. You guys can see. So yeah, pretty nice stuff there from Cade. Usually wins Rookie of the Year, but of course when I have him on my team, he doesn't win it. Uh, 2K bias, 2K bias. Um, oh, look at that, Jalen Green on Detroit. Wow, incredible. Anyways, yeah, so we did make the playoffs. We, were, we ended up being the 11th seed, which is actually somewhat promising. So I do expect, because we have a lot of young guys, they will develop and will end up possibly becoming a playing team, even a playoff team, if we can get a couple guys uh, with this squad here. So let's take a look at the player stats and see what we got going on here. So Garland was my leading guy. And again, he had a really nice season, so that's promising. Cade, I expect him to make a nice big jump next year. And then Mo Bamba, Marvin Bagley. I think he might be an unrestricted free agent and uh, or restricted. He could be restricted, actually. Yeah, he actually, no. Marvin Bagley could be restricted. Mo Bamba's also going to be a restricted free agent, so we'll maybe give them qualifiers. Uh, we still got uh, Dandy Melton. And a couple good guys who could potentially move. 
and uh, yeah, so not too bad, not too bad. Uh, let's just see who ends up winning the uh, NBA championship, and then we're going to go on to the offseason. So, uh, cut two more seasons this, so uh, the Trailblazers win. Zach Levine, finals MVP. Fortunately, I can't get Zach Levine since he's 27. So, free agents can be a bit tough since a lot of the guys that are going to be under the age of 25 and under are going to be restricted anyway. So, it's going to be a little bit difficult to sign some pretty good talent out in free agency. So, a lot of the stuff that we have to do is through trade and the draft. So, unfortunately, our pick we don't have. The Grizzlies have our pick. Uh, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. So, we don't have the Grizzlies pick. Very nice, very, very nice. Uh, or the Grizzlies have our pick. All right, so I'm going to see if there's a potential trade we can make during the draft. So let's see what we can potentially do here. So I'm going to do this deal with the Portland Trailblazers. We're going to give up Justin Patton, D'Anthony Melton, two second-round picks for a 2024 top three protected first-round pick and Davion Mitchell. So that's a pretty nice deal there. We get Davion Mitchell. All right, I traded up to get the sixth-round pick from the Wizards, three first-round picks, two second-round picks for the Wizards' sixth pick. So, we do have the sixth pick, so just outside the top five, but we still could get a pretty solid player to add to this core of young guys. And uh, Jaden Hardy's out there. We could get Jaden Ivey, Patrick Baldwin Jr., Nikola Jovic. Um, hmm. Jaden Ivey wouldn't be a bad option, uh, but um, I feel like we've never used uh, Jaden Hardy, so maybe... He could be the guy we go after. Because I feel like we have... We, we, we've drafted Baldwin Jr. We've done a video on Jaden Ivey. So Jaden Hardy could be a potential nice little piece to add to this team. So I'm going to do that. Jaden Hardy is going to be on the team. So there we go. He's going to be the guy we drafted our sixth pick. So rookie signing. Jaden Hardy, welcome to the team. Uh, team player options. Uh, Diallo, Flynn, Reed... Uh, Metu, I'm going to, I could accept him and then jo Isaiah Joe will accept. And I think I'm just going to end up moving a couple of these guys that I don't really want. Like Flynn, uh, Metu, and Joe. I don't mind keeping Paul Reed and Diallo for now. Uh, but, uh, and then see what they're out there. It's out there in free agency. So Bamba, Mo Bamba, going to give him a qualifier. Same thing, Bagley. And try to get them back on one-year deals. So let's just see if I can move a couple of these guys here for some future picks. Let's deal with the Pacers. So we're going to give up Malachi Flynn, Chemezi Metu, Isaiah Joe for Omer Yurt 7 uh, and a 2023 first round pick, top three protected from the Indiana Pacers. Here to see DeAndre Aiden's getting some bogus offers. I'm going to give him a contract. I don't know if that means that the team's not, I don't know if the team's going to match or not, but DeAndre Aiden would be a great pickup for this squad. Um, I would not be opposed to that. I wouldn't even mind getting like a guy like Miles Bridges. We could even get Mitchell Robinson if that if nothing works out there, or Thomas Bryant um, for possibly one season. Uh, is there anybody else here? Colin Sexton, potentially. Eh, not the greatest in the world. Uh, Anthony Simons could potentially work too. Uh, so there's a couple decent young guys, but Aiden's the kind of the prize here. So if I can get DeAndre Aiden, that'd be incredible, but it looks like he's going to get matched by the Bucks. So um, yeah, we're going to start signing uh, Stanley Johnson. I don't want him. Looks like I might be able to pick up Miles Bridges, who's going to be 24 years old, although I think I'm going to have to move him after this season, but having Miles Bridges for this season isn't too bad, and I'm going to end up also re-signing... Why do I have Daniel House? Bird rights. Doesn't make any sense, but okay. So Mo Bamba, we're going to probably end up keeping him, and Bagley as well, so they'll just end up most likely signing on qualifiers. So I need to get some point guards, shooting guard, small forward that are young and will fit with the with the team. I guess Dennis Smith Jr. on a one-year deal wouldn't be the end of the world if I give him, like, one point one year, $6.5 million. Uh, I'd also need another sh small sh young shooting guard. And if Frank Nielakina wants a lot of money, why does he want so much money? No one knows, um, but okay. Um, and then a small forward. We're going to need a young small forward. And we might have to go down kind of far uh, before they start, you know, not winning a lot of money. Uh, Troy Brown Jr., why does he want that much money? What the hell? Okay, Jordan Nawara, maybe? One year, $7 million? All right, let's see if we can get all these guys on the team. I don't know if we will end up getting them. 
Neil Aquino, Smith, can we get both of them? Yes. And can we get Jordan Nora? We can, but he have to renounce the rights on, on Bagley, so I'm not going to do that. So uh, I'm trying to get Bagley and Bomba on a qualifier, and I'm just going to see if I can get another small forward. All right, guys, so this is going to be the team, and you can see a bunch of green here. So we've got Darius Garland, Cade Cunningham, we got Miles Bridges, uh, Davion Mitchell, Mo Bamba, Marvin Bagley, Sadiq Bey, James, Jeremiah Robinson Earl, uh, Jaden Hardy, who we just drafted, Hamidou Diallo, Paul Reed, Dennis Smith Jr., Omer Yurt 7, Frankie Lakina, Terrence Ferguson to round out the team. So everyone is under the age of 25 right now. Again, it's a 25 and under challenge, so if they're 25, it's not the end of the world, but I'm trying to move them anyway. Uh, we're probably going to have to move Miles Bridges at the end of the season, so he will not be here more than one year. Actually, we're definitely going to have to move him and see if we can get like somebody good for him. Um, but so far, I think this team could potentially be a playoff team, so this is good. Uh, but we got to simulate and find out. So let's see you guys to start a second season. All right, start of the second season. So you guys saw the player progressions of the roster that's going to be. So we got Darius Garland, Cade Cunningham, and we got Sadiq Bay, Miles Bridges, Mo Bamba. So my starting five, not too bad. We got Davion Mitchell, Marvin Bagley III, Jaden Hardy, Jeremiah Robinson Earl, and Hamidou Diallo getting minutes off the bench. Then we got Reed Smith Jr. at seven, Neil Aquina and Ferguson also there as well. Um, in terms of scoring options, so Garland, Cunningham, and then let's go Miles Bridges as the third guy. So there you go, Miles Bridges. And I think this team could potentially be a playoff team for sure. So I'm hoping that that's where we could be. Anywhere from like the fourth to ninth seed uh, could be, still could be a play-in team. Uh, but I would like to aim for like the fifth or the sixth. If we could get there, that'd be great. Uh, but there's only one to find out is to simulate. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys once I get to the trade deadline where we might make a move or two to help improve this team even more. Okay, so we're at the deadline, and we're currently sitting at the three seed in the Western Conference, although uh, we are pretty much only a half game up for being the fifth seed. However, uh, we have a pretty nice padding over the sixth uh, seed and everybody else, so we're definitely in that upper echelon of, well, maybe not upper echelon, but like we are could be vying for the two seed, really. So yeah, we're doing really well, so that's nice to see. Uh, Definitely playing, I'd say, beyond our expectations. And Cade Cunningham is part of the reason why he's made a huge jump. Well, he's not a huge jump, but he's made a nice jump, I should say. Uh, Garland's also still playing really well, which is nice to see. And he's uh, played excellent, and Cade Cunningham is obviously doing his thing, so that's good to see. Uh, Miles Bridges, playing up 14 a game. Uh, not too bad as the number three option on the team. We've got Marvin Bagley, who's playing pretty well. Mo Bamba's doing his thing. They're both on one-year deals, so I don't know... If we want to keep them on, I wouldn't mind keeping Bagley. Mo Bamba, though, I don't know. We may have to move him, may not. We'll see. Jaden Hardy is a rookie, as playing pretty well. Uh, Sadiq Bey still doing his thing. So we got seven guys averaging double figures, so that's nice to see. Uh, we got Davion Mitchell as the backup point guard. Uh, Jeremiah Robinson Earl, Hamidou Diallo, Paul Reed hasn't played much. So, yeah, for the most part, I mean, uh, nothing incredible going on here. But I do want to see if there's a potential move that we can make. I would really love to get a nice young guy on this team that's really, really good. Although, I don't know exactly what that guy would really entail. Honestly, I wouldn't mind even trying to get like Wendell Carter Jr. if I could, uh, but I don't know if I can. A guy like Cole Anthony I can't get, a guy like Isaiah Stewart, I could probably get him. Wow, they want, what? Get the hell out of here, Sacramento. You're drunk, go home. Um, Oh, Stephen Curry is on the Knicks in this uh, hypothetical situation. Wow. Um, all right. All right, I want to see if there's a potential trade or two we can make. If not, this could be the team, and I'll see you guys at the end of the year. All right, I want to do this deal with Phoenix. I know I, I, I like Mo Bamba. I like Marvin Bagley. They've been playing really well. But getting Franz Wagner could be a pretty solid addition to this team. We also get Isaiah Hartenstein, who will probably end up moving in the offseason. So uh, just a little shake up here. May or may not be worth it, but well, Franz Wagner, though. Franz Wagner coming off the bench. I think he can be, help the bench out a lot, so we're going to go with that. That's the only move we're going to make. We'll make our rest of the moves in the offseason. So hopefully we can maintain this uh, three seed. If we can't, 
I still think we'll end up making the playoffs, though, just looking at the standings. Unless we have an absolute total collapse, which I'm hoping we don't. So I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Well, guys, we did have that collapse, but we still ended up making the playoffs as the fifth seed, so I'm happy about that. Kind of about where I thought we'd end up anyway. Uh, Giannis MVP on the Suns, pretty funny. Uh, Chet Holmgren, Rookie of the Year. Andre Drummond, Sixth Man of the Year. Defense Player of the Year, Jonathan Isaac. Most approved, Kobe White. Coach here goes to Monty Williams for the Pelicans, I think. No, not the Pelicans, the Suns. Uh, and then Lance Alford, Executive of the Year. So, we were the fifth seed, which is pretty solid. I'm curious to see if we have any... Do we have any Utah Jazz? Well, let's find out. None on these teams. Uh, def we might have a rookie... Uh, Jaden Hardy? Yes, Jaden Hardy's gonna get it. That's the only guy that's gonna get it. 10.4 points, 2.8 rebounds, 2 assists. And, uh, pretty good shooting splits. 40, about 47 from the field. 34 from 3. Not too bad. 88.4% from the line. And, uh, 7 and a half minutes. That's good. Good stuff from Jaden Hardy doing his thing out there. So we ended up being the fifth seed, and we're taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves in the first round of the playoffs. Let's look at these standings here. 51 and 31. So we had a good season. Uh, it's kind of a tough Western Conference. A lot of these teams that were won over 55 games. So good stuff from them. Uh, in terms of the player stats, how did we do here? Darius Garland, we're going to end up having to uh, re-sign. Uh, 22 points a game, uh, about 7 assists. So he did his thing out there. Good stuff from Darius Garland. And uh, shot the ball very well, too. Almost a 50-40-90 season. Very, very close. We would have shot a little bit better from the field. Uh, Cade Cunningham, excellencies for him, as well as the second option, so nice to see from him. Miles Bridges was good, although we're going to have to move on from him in the offseason because he is going to be 26 next year. Uh, Franz Wagner uh, was a nice pickup. Isaiah Hartstein, I uh, got Jaden Hardy, Sadiq Bey still out there. Davion Mitchell, Jeremiah Robinson Earl, Hamidou Diallo, Paul Reed. All right, so not too bad from the squad. So we are in the playoffs. And we're taking on Minnesota. Let's just take a look at that coach game plan. Boom, boom, boom. That's what's going to be. So I'm excited to see how this team's going to team's gonna play. Um, I kind of want to go uh, Franz Wagner as the third option. So I'm going to do that since, I mean, he's going to end up being here and Bridges isn't. So might as well just get used to that. Uh, system proficiency. Just want to double check that we have the best system proficiency we do. Three and a half. So there we go. Uh, let's see. Minnesota, can we beat them? Well, let's find out. Sim the, play, sim the playing. So here we go. Game one against Minnesota. We win by four points. Nice. So the Jazz win. Can we win game two? We're up 2-0. Can we go up 3-0? We're up 3-0. Okay. Can we sweep? Yes, we swept the Minnesota Timberwolves. And we're in the second round of the playoffs. That's impressive. Taking on Phoenix. We had a tough seven-game series with the Rockets. Um, okay. Well, here we go. Game one, we win by a long shot. Nice. Can we win game two? No, we lose game two by a blowout. We're down 2-1. Are we going to go down 3-1? No, we make it 2-2. Best of three. Can't win game five, so we're going to have to adjust that uh, game plan. And if two, if I know 2K, well, if, if I know 2K, I'm just telling you, we'd be going to a game seven, right? Surely. Quarter one, how are we going to do? We're the home team. Not a good first quarter. Not a good second quarter. We need to have a really good third quarter. We don't, and we're going to get blown out. So if we were the, if we were the, uh, well, let's go this route. Roles reversed, and I was the Suns, it would have been a game seven. But because I'm not the Suns, they ended up winning. Yeah, weird. I know, right? So we lost in six, got to the second round, which is nice. Uh, and the Suns ended up winning the finals. So the honest finals MVP. Curious to see how we did in the playoffs, how the young guys did. So, for the most part, Garland was great. Katie kind of had a nice playoffs. Franz Wagner was good. All right, so not too bad. We do have a few guys that we're going to end up having to move because uh, they're kind of at that threshold, and uh, I need to get some guys, maybe some guys in the draft. So, we will see what we can end up doing here. Um, I'll see you guys in the offseason. So, the draft lottery, we're going to have the 24th pick and the 22nd pick via the Indiana Pacers. So, two low picks and nothing great there. But uh, I do want to see if we can make a few moves here to potentially either try to trade up or get a nice young player on the squad. Uh, we still have Bridges. We've got Harden's now. We've got to trade both of them. So let's see if we can make a nice little trade here if we threw both of them up in a first-round pick. Um, well, we get a lot of guys that I wouldn't mind having on the team, but we get Wendell Carter. 
Uh, Jalen Duran, Janice Shooter. Hmm. I have to flip Demis Shooter. Can I do that? But I'd rather have Wendell Carter Jr. Or Jalen Duran. First, I'd rather have Jalen Duran. I or pick eight Marcus Smart. Ah, but I have to trade Marcus Smart, right? Obviously. If I do this trade, I could probably just flip Dennis Schroeder for like a pick. So I'll do that. We'll keep Jalen Duran. I think that's fine. So yeah, we're gonna do that deal and we're gonna flip uh, Dennis Schroeder since he's not allowed to be on the team. Uh, we could do Jabari Walker and uh, oh, pick nine in the second rounder. That would actually be perfect trade. So I think I'm gonna end up doing that. Uh, Nikola Jovic never played now we're just gonna get uh where's pick nine from the warriors i think it was right so we'll get pick nine yeah there we go that works for me and a second round pick which i'm not gonna use i wanted to get another pick so we got pick 21 from the rockets future first and two seconds so we're gonna have pick nine pick 21 in the draft i'm curious to see if we can possibly move up to get a higher pick than pick nine um uh, doesn't look like we can we can get peyton watson we're just going to draft somebody at pick nine. So we're going to go to the NBA draft. See who we end up getting at pick number nine. Who's going to be there? Somebody to use your pick. So we are going to take um, Jordan Walsh. Is this guy real? I do not know if this guy is real or not. He might be. Um, Nikola Juricic. Looks like he could be a pretty solid piece. And Keontae George, though, is kind of here. And I feel like he's going to be the highest overall. So I'm going to go with Keontae George at pick number nine. And we had one more pick, so I'm going to go with Anthony Black. Why not? From Oklahoma State. I don't know if he's real or not, but uh, we're going to sign Franz Wagner. Come on, whoever that was talking. Who that guy was talking. Screw him. So rookie signing. Uh, Keontae George and Anthony Black, welcome to the squad. So, team player options, we're going to accept all of them, everybody here. I uh, might look to move Davion Mitchell to deadline next season. We'll see a couple of these guys if we can get some good players for them. So, Darius Garland, yes. Paul Reed, sure. Uh, Omer, you're seven. Nah. Yeah. All right, so we'll do that. Um, any good free agents out there? Zion, we could theoretically get Zion Williamson but it's not gonna happen like the team's gonna match so yeah I mean there's some decent young guys here uh, Barrett uh, Colin Sexton's unrestricted so maybe we could get him uh do we get Zion no he's going back to the Raptors so uh, okay hold on stop Yeah, he's not going to sign, so I want to keep... Okay, renounce the rights on Neil Aquino, Smith Jr., Ferguson, Yurt 7. Uh, Diallo, and then we'll cap hold Darius Garland. Yeah, that, that works for me. Uh, yeah, and we're not going to get Zion. Yeah, okay. Makes a lot of sense to me, so bird rights, we have bird rights on. Okay, um, I mean, I wouldn't mind signing Sexton. Uh, Tyler Hero, I wouldn't mind him either, but he's going to go to the Heat. Um, RJ Barrett, Mavericks, Gary Trent Jr., Sexton, Keldon Johnson, maybe. No, we'll just sign Sexton, I guess. Give him like 22 million for three years, and that should work. So we can get Sexton. Although we already have four shooting guards. I need a power forward. That's why I needed Zion, but of course, easier said than done. So uh, Sexton, Darius Garland. Oh, we got to match him. So we're getting Darius Garland. We're going to get Sexton. And that worked. And we still have 9 million, so that's not bad. Let's just fill out the rest of the roster. So this is gonna be the team. So we finished filling out the roster. So Darius Garland, Cade Cunningham, who's up to an 89. So we got Darius Garland's at a 90. Cade comes at 89. We got Franz Wagner up to an 84. Colin Sexton, who we just picked up. Uh, Dave Von Mitchell, uh, Sadiq Bay, Jalen Duran, who we traded for. You guys saw uh, Jeremiah Robinson Earl, Jaden Hardy still here. We got Keontae George, 
who we just drafted, uh, Paul Reed, Anthony Black, who we also drafted, Herbert Jones, Sandy Altimo, pick, who we picked up, and then uh, Urban Morris Sr., who is... I don't think he's real, but whatever. He's 21, so it doesn't matter. All right, cool. So that's going to be the team. Um, is this team good enough to make the playoffs? Yes, absolutely. We could possibly win it. I think we could, if we got to the second round last season, with all the internal development for the better players, I think we should be pretty good. Um, and if in anything, worse push comes to shove, if we could try to get somebody at the deadline that's going to be, you know, 24 years old, that's really good, then we will uh, try to make a trade then. But uh, for now, I think this is going to be the team. So I'll see you guys at the start of the third and final season of this video. Third and final season of this National Basketball Association 2022 video. So the team that we're going to have, the starting line, is going to be Darius Garland, Cade Cunningham, Sadiq Bey, Franz Wagner, and Jalen Duren as my starting five. That's a pretty solid starting five. Off the bench, Colin Sexton, Davion Mitchell, Jeremiah Robinson Earl, Jaden Hardy, and Keontae George. Again, that's pretty good here. And then we got Reed, Jones, Black, Aldema, and Morris Sr. rounding out the team. So, in terms of scoring options, Garland is not the number one. Weird. Uh, well, we're going to keep him the number one. So, there we go. Garland, Cunningham, Wagner. Should be pretty solid. I'm going to say the system proficiency. Are we at four stars? No, we're still at three and a half with Perimeter Centric. Uh, pace and Space, three and a half. We'll just run Pace and Space. Um since that is the preferred system anyway. So we're going to go with that. Oh, Snyder. I think this team could be pretty solid. Um, again, once we get to the deadline, I'll show you guys the stats. We'll probably make a move then uh, in the event that we want to try to get like another good player on this team. So, yeah, I'll see you guys at the trade deadline. Hopefully we're solid and a good team in the top four in the West. So I'll see you guys once I get to the deadline. Alright guys, so we're at the trade deadline. We're currently sitting at the 6th seed, which isn't amazing, but it's also not too bad because we're only three games back from being the number one seed. So we're kind of like in a in a battle right now. Uh, although we are only two and a half games away from being in the play-in, so that's also not the greatest in the world, but we're competing, which is nice. So would have liked this to have been a little bit better, but looking at the stats here, so Darius Garland is putting up about 19 a game. So the number's a bit down, but he's still playing pretty well. Um, and then we've got uh, Cunningham, who's having a nice season as well. Then we've got Colin Sexton, who's actually shooting the ball very nicely. Uh, yeah, very efficient from him. So I think I might make him my third scoring option. Uh, Franz Wagner, so who's thinking that? Well, he's doing good. Uh, then we've got Duran, Steve Bay, uh, Robbins Earl, Mitchell. Um, I do want to see if I can make a potential trade. Uh, honestly, if I can get something for Sexton and Mitchell, like a really good young guy, I don't think I can, though. I don't even know what I could possibly try to get for any of them. Like, Sexton, M Mitchell, and like a first-round pick would get me what? Lonzo Ball, can't trade for him. Tyrese Maxey and Mitchell Robinson, not really worth it. Uh, there's really nobody here. Kuminga, no. Uh, Kenny Chandler, no. Miles Bridges and Joshua Primo, no. RJ Barrett. And I have to move Kuzma. No, there's really nobody. Uh, Jaron Jackson actually is pretty good. Hmm. That 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 would be the move. If I did the move, it'd maybe be Jaron Jackson Jr. Hmm. Do I do this trade and we get Trey Jones? I want to bite the bullet. You know what? We're going to do it. We'll do it. Why not? Jaron Jackson Jr. and Trey Jones. You're on the squad. Don't think that's going to make the team better. I don't think it's big difference. I don't know. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong, guys. Prove me wrong. Jaron Jackson Jr. will be the third scoring option now. So Garland, Cunningham, Jaron Jackson Jr. Is this team good enough to win a championship in our third and final season? That remains to be seen. I'm going to hope that we could be good. I think we, we make the playoffs. We should make the playoffs. I'd be shocked if we don't. We have four-star pace in space. So we're going to keep it that way. 
And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. I hope this team can make a run at the championship. So, we were doing really... We got to the second seed, and then we started losing a bunch of games. Of course, 2K was like, yeah, let's just fake like you're going to do good, and then you're going to go back down to the sixth seed. So, we ended up with the sixth seed. John Morant, MVP. Victor Wembanyama, Rookie of the Year. Sixth Man of the Year, James Harden. Most of Anthony Davis. Most proved Jalen Duran. So, at least we got most proved player. Jalen Duran um, almost put up a double-double. Very, very close to it. And uh, actually very solid defensively. Over two blocks a game. So good stuff from Duran. Uh, coach the Armani Williams. And executive coach to Tyler Jameson. So curious to see if we have any jazz on any of these teams. I don't know if we will. Looks like we won't. Uh, all, all defense second team. So Jaron Jackson Jr. We ended up trading for him. And he ended up becoming an all defensive second team. So that's nice to see from him. And he had a nice year. As you guys can see the numbers. Very solid stuff. His numbers did dip when we traded for him. But you know what? He still played pretty well. So especially as a third scoring option. So I think it might have been the right trade, but I don't know. We'll find out in the playoffs. And uh, speaking of playoffs, we're taking on the Houston Rockets, three seed. Uh, we ended up with a 47-35 record, which is pretty solid. Um, and we did avoid the play-in game, which is cool. So uh, Jared Jackson was the leading scorer, but again, a lot of that was done prior to him coming here. So uh, then we had Cade, Garland, Wagner, Duran, Bay. So basically... Six guys having a double figure, so that's nice to see. So the team was good. I mean, I thought we could have been a little bit better. I thought we maybe, I thought we underperformed just a tad bit. Uh, but is it good enough to win a championship? Um, and uh, yeah, um, we'll see. We'll see how we end up uh, performing. So we taking on in the playoffs like i said the houston rockets so just minutes sim to play in game one who do we got game one we lose by 26 game two we lose by 11 game three we're down 3-0 that's not good that is not good we're gonna get swept all right that's gonna be the lineup all right <sighs> gotta come back down for 3-0 lead no way. No way does 2K allow this. We are the home team, but we're getting blown out. And, yep, that's going to be the end of the video. Maybe have an amazing, yep, nope, end of the video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got to the second round last season. Couldn't get to the first, get out of the first round. We got swept in the first round. Really? Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Well, LeBron James... LeBron James in Houston with Ty Ty Washington, Otto Porter, Diabetes. Uh, I'm kidding. That's not how you say it. I know that's how you say it. Musa Diabate, I think. I don't know. Kyle Lowry. Oh. Mikhail Bridges. All right. Well. Guys, we gave it our all, but we could not win the championship. We couldn't get the job done with the under-25 team. It was kind of hard because we didn't have the greatest draft spot. If we would have potentially had, like, a top pick, and we could have got, like, a generational talent or someone that, like, really good in 2K, like a Luka, a John Rant, a, a Zion, because the game loves Zion, maybe we would have had a better chance, but we just kind of had a uh, tough spot. I mean, Garland was pretty good, don't get me wrong, but just wasn't good enough. And uh, Portland, with Zach Levine, wins the finals again. So Portland won two out of three finals. Who the hell's on the Trailblazers? Besides Zach Levine, there's got to be other guys, right? Jared Allen. Zach Levine. Chris Tapps, Porzingis, Sharon Vanderbilt. Oh, this team's actually pretty solid. Okay, fair enough to them, I guess. All right, well, let's end the video. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Let me know down in the comments below some more videos. Check my social down in the description, as well as a playlist can the art NBA 2K22, my NBA content. And like I said, of course, we couldn't get the job done. But if there's any other video ideas you want to see, let me know down in the comments below. If you got any other games, I'm trying to think of some ideas. Uh, preferably not what ifs. Um, I feel like I've done all of those. If there's any other challenges you want to see me do, um, that would be great. Like, stuff like this. Uh, let me know. Uh, but if not, I guess I could do the what ifs. Um, but it's not that I'm against them. I'm just saying, like, in both sports, like, well, 
basketball, hockey. We've done a lot of what ifs, which is good. I mean, I don't not like I don't enjoy them, but I you know, like I said, I'm trying to get some different kind of videos out there instead of some just what ifs. So unless they're unique what ifs, not just like trade scenarios or draft scenarios. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. Unique video ideas if you guys have any. If not, no big deal. Uh, let me know some of the games down below you want to see me play. Anyways, happy. hope you have a great rest of your night. I want to see you all soon. And yeah, take care and peace.